Now, product photography is one of the genres that I've always wanted to get into more because it's very technical. And so when Josh and I were pondering on what to film for this video, what kind of cool photography tutorial we could shoot, we thought about product photography because it's so much fun. There's so many textures you can incorporate, so many colors, so many themes. You can get really creative with how you shoot these. We had, as you can see, a little bit of fun shopping for props. So first, let's show you our Pinterest board for the overall vibes of this shoot. So I always start with a Pinterest board for inspiration because it's a great way to get ideas and just a little refresh in that genre. And sometimes seeing one idea sparks another idea and here you are. We couldn't decide on just one. So we actually picked four different products. We focused on the skincare genre just because it's really fun to play with color and texture and emphasize the ingredients of the product. So where that product came from or some of the things that that brand wanted to highlight in that product. So for this, we have green tea. For this, it's like a water sleeping mask. For this, it's called like sun glow or something. And this is a rosehip oil. So you can kind of get, you can kind of see where we're going with each of these. A really important thing to keep in mind when buying your props is layers, textures, and lighting and shadows. So we definitely have what we need. Here. So rather than breaking up this video any more than I have to, we're going to talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, which is Artlist. Now, Artlist is a music licensing platform that offers access to unlimited downloads of over 22,000 songs and 27,000 sound effects, both of which are constantly being updated with new additions. Now, on their website, songs are categorized and curated into moods, genres, instruments, and even video themes. This is huge for any content creators out there. Speaking of content creators like you and I, there are definitely subscription options that are available to suit your needs. Now, the first here is a personal plan, which is only $9.99 a month billed annually, and it covers all your own social media channels. So the second is their unlimited plan, and they have this listed for $16.60 a month billed again annually, and this will cover everything from personal to commercial projects. When searching for music, this is the most stressful part because you can never seem to find what you want fast enough. So Artlist offers a ton of different category filters that'll help narrow down your search. There's a similar songs filter, sort by vocals, BPM, and duration. And after a while, it'll even start to learn a bit about you and creates a for you tab that'll give you a personally curated list of suggestions based on your previous downloads. They also just launched an all in pack, which is an incredible creative bundle for content creators. This pack includes everything a creator would need to create a video from A to Z. So any new subscriber to a yearly plan can get this or any existing subscriber to an annual plan can get this pack as well. So included in this pack, there is a storyboard, a shot list template, sound effects, motion graphics, and more. And most importantly, all of the assets in this pack are compatible for both Mac and PC. So guys, go sign up for your yearly plan, claim your all in pack and get creating. Now let's get back to the video so we can get to creating as well. All right, now what you guys came here for, let's talk about gear and what I'm packing in my invisible camera bag because we're shooting this in the office. So I'll be using my gear packing checklist that I have for free available on my site. So link to that is in the description box below. All right, so project name, shoot date time. I don't give a crap. You can also customize this if you wanna add more boxes. You could add like another row here. Then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit these. So we'll just write down the laptops. So the Asus Vivo Book Pro, the tether cable. So I can make sure while my writing's terrible that these photos are turning out awesome as we shoot. So I can tether it to the laptop. Let's pack it. And I'll tell you guys why I picked this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all on our list, let's pack the camera. We have the A7R4. This is the 50mm f1.4. Hi, look how pretty. Will we use the 85? Actually, I feel like today we're probably gonna go back and forth between the 50 and the 85. So why I'm choosing this combo is because this camera has just a crap ton of megapixels. How many? 62, mm. one. It's a lot. And that's because we want every little micro moment of detail in this. If we need to crop in, we can. We have all of that information ready to go. And we'll be using 
the 90 mil macro. So if we want to get really, really tight, just right up close in there in that detail, and we want a close focusing distance, this guy is the king. These ones we're gonna have to be a little bit further back, but that's okay. But overall, we're reaching for lenses that aren't super wide because obviously the products that we're shooting today are smaller. We want to feel like we're up close and personal with them. And for that, we need lenses with a tighter focal length. What's next on our list? So we can get batteries. This is our charging drawer here. It's a little messy right now, but if you guys wanna see how we built this, uh, we have a whole video on that that we'll link up here. These are charged. Oh wait, is our card drawer in here too? Here's our cards. And if they're in this, it usually means they are empty and ready to go. We're just gonna use a 32 gig card. Will that fill up? Probably. Okay, tripod, we've got Peak Design tripod. The laptop and the tether cable are just over there, so we're good to go with that. And that about covers it. It's pretty minimal today because we're shooting with natural light, so this is totally something accessible to you guys at home if you want to shoot something for yourself or for another client. It's absolutely doable. So that's it for gear. Let's talk about props. Back to the floor. As you can see, there are many different, some of these are gonna look weird to you, okay? But I need you to just roll with me. What you're looking for with props is, especially with long, thin, flat ones that you're gonna use as your base, you're looking for texture. So this is just a cutting board, but it has this really cool kind of like terrazzo look to it, which we love. We have this plate that if you did shoot up close, it's got this semicircle two-tone vibe to it. We have another plate here that has kind of a gold lip, again, a good like bottom surface to put your product on and we actually picked up this tray that Josh is in love with and wants to take home after this and it's just got mother of pearl inlay again it's a little bit of texture a little bit of earthiness it kind of gives you that like sandy beach but also clean vibe so this may work really well for this product here we'll see a lot of these could be used for each one of these we're not really sure yet so we'll see how it comes together and same here we've got these coasters you can also use these as risers if you want to emphasize a product and like lift it up off of another surface that looks a little busy you get the idea we've got a mirror this actually looks really cool if you can either shoot into the mirror or getting a light reflection a light reflection of a product looks really cool creates some dimension to the photo rather than it just being kind of a two-dimensional look to it before I get into actual photo props let's think along the lines of dressing up these kind of plain neutral textures textures this is pretty in gold I have no idea how we're gonna use this but like that looks kind of see where see pretty things put this on it Wow, amazing. You can always return this stuff. Again, can return. So I don't think it's a bad idea to overbuy a little bit because you can always bring things back. You don't wanna look back and think, hey, I should have bought that coaster or that other bookend that I could have used as this prop. Like have everything handy because you don't know what you're gonna pull. Now ignore this cutting board because that'll make sense in a second. We bought a lot of fruit. There's something about food that really adds to the feeling behind a product or the where you would place that in your life or your lifestyle. So something about a grapefruit or a lemon or a lime or a coconut or even a dragon fruit, it not only adds color and texture, you think of something clean, you think of something healthy, you think of vitamins, nutrition, something that's good for you. And that's something we want to align with all of these products as well. Stuff with color and texture. So we got some fruit and that's what that cutting board is for. Now we've got some little additional things we thought we would sprinkle throughout the frame. We've got some food coloring because for the green tea, we're actually gonna use water as a prop in this massive bin. So this bin isn't just to hold all of our props. We're gonna be putting one of the products in here with some water that's green and these mint leaves to kind of create like a green tea bath. And that should be interesting because I've never tried that before. And then Josh spotted in the craft section, these gold leaf flakes, which we're just, we're literally just gonna sprinkle all over everything. I'm very excited about this. It's gonna be messy. Some other props we're gonna use just to shoot with, along with this pitcher. Our handy dandy iridescent filter. I did a TikTok on this and shooting with it and some, a bunch of videos where I'm using this. You can get like a whole roll of this on Amazon for super cheap. I have a whole list of props you can purchase um, in the description if you wanna go check that out. On that list is also this crystal. It's very dirty right now, but you hold this at the side of the frame or put this in front of a light source, you get rainbows. So along with these mint leaves, I'm bouncing all around the place, but we also bought some fresh flowers. Uh, we bought roses to go with the rose hip oil. We didn't opt for red because we just wanted to go with more of a clean, like clinical, almost scientific vibe. So we might actually pluck some of the, I know I'm a bad person, the petals off of the roses and eucalyptus, 
you can't go wrong. It's just the most beautiful plant. The color, chef's kiss. Backgrounds, we've got our base. We need a couple backdrops. We bought these so long ago and we're gonna pull them out again. We have a whole stack of these. Probably not gonna use that one. We've got a dark one. We've got, this one's actually really cool. The pink kind of checkerboard. It's also double-sided. So there's a blue one in there. The good thing about these is they're quite small. We've used these in past videos. One for when we're doing some watch photography, some photo stacking. Now I'm unrolling all of them. Those have been super handy. Otherwise that basically covers it for all of our props. If you guys wanna see what happens with shooting these and editing them, it'll be linked up here and in the description box below. You're probably seeing this video first though, so you may have to wait till next week to see it. So sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the method and our madness behind shooting our product shoots, product photography shoots with natural light. And you'll at least have learned something new and how we pick our products, how we pick our gear and organize ourselves for our shoots. If you want the link to our gear packing checklist, that's in the description box below as well. Big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. And if you liked it, like it. If you comment it, thank you. If you hit the bell, that's nice too. Love you, bye. You made a mess.